You know, it's just like we didn't have any huge problems, and I'm not sure if we could repeat that nowadays. So we know something special is going on, and and I was forced to be a part of it. But to be honest with you, I think it was successful in spite of me because. I mean, honestly, in, in this room, raise your hand if you were ever on the receiving end of one of my rants, tirades, or yelling sessions. Ever, like, booking shows, Jeremy Ward, you know, or serving behind the counter, Mark Harms, Andy Danes, just all these people. If I start naming names, I'll probably lose it because everybody played, like, this unique role, and for free, because nobody was getting paid, right? I mean, we did, like, a pizza once in a while or something, but you guys held it together. You were the glue you invested so much in it, and that's why. Here is some. This is some kind of weird Island of Misfit Toys reunion here that we're doing. This is just. It's just crazy because, you know, it was unique and it was special, and you guys are the ones who made it that way. You really did. I, and there, you know, there's a number of people who aren't couldn't be with us, and it's all online stuff. I really wanted to see Corey. Just all the stuff that just happened so quick, and I can't even believe even Simon, you know, was what. 17 years ago, that's when I started that thing. I was 30. You guys are now, some of you are the age that I was when I started. So, if, if uh, God can do something crazy through me back then, and through all the people who wanted to invest so much in the asylum, if you're at, a, if you're at some kind of transition, and you're in that, if you're spinning your wheels, there's still stuff going on. And I think that you guys should embrace that, because you've got a chance to. This is the time to do it. So don't be afraid of it. And I had, you know, behind the scenes, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the asylum had people giving hundreds, if not thousands of dollars sometimes, just to keep it ticking. They didn't want to hang out there because it would freak them out. It was too late. And they're like, there's no MCM until midnight or 3 a.m. And so, and I was getting too old for that too. I mean, look at me now, I'm just falling apart. So these guys, you know, these guys are my priority now. But back then, you know, the asylum, it ministered to me. You guys made it what it was. And... So, I just all, you know, I'm just happy I remember some of your names, honestly, because <laughs> I'm starting to lose it a little bit. But, so, thank you. Thank you for, it's, it's humbling to be up here. I thank you for, for assuming that I played a bigger part than I did, because I'm not half as cool as you think I am. Rob Corning just says, I'm not near as scared as you as I used to be. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it, it, it matters a lot to me that, that you guys still think that much of the song that you would do all this. So, thank you. Yeah. It's time to go home. Do you remember this? Rachel. Okay, so this this was given to the asylum actually by Sharon McDonald. She had this specially made for the asylum. Uh, and I've hung on to it. It's actually been hanging in my son's room over his uh, train set. So when uh, Roger was trying to dig up a few things for this fundraiser, we decided, hey, what better time to give this away? So somebody donated. An honorable mention has to go to somebody who donated a large chunk. They donated 500 bucks to get this clock. Okay? So then someone found out what that 500 bucks was, and they bid $502. So between two people, they raised 1000 bucks between the two of them. But the winner of this clock, unfortunately, it's not going to Andy Danes. He was close. But $502 goes to Ken Patient. He gets this clock. Okay. So come get it. Let the record show this clock is still working as I hand it over to... I just hope the kid's smart enough to figure out how to turn it on. So do we! Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm gonna bathe myself in its blue glow so I gotta sleep every night. Nothing has changed, basically. Oh, nice. So he's giving away... You there are a few people with tattoos in here, right? Okay. So, there's a couple of uh, hundred who, who, who put those up? Oh, wow. Yes. Let's see it first. All right. I know how you were back in the day. Okay. Okay, so we wiped out your asylum tab that you had. All right, so... So, so that's your win, that's your win, that's you get zero balance. <laughs> what do you want? A koozie? A shirt? And a koozie? Or... Say what? You want me to take a picture? Or a chance to smash a... Oh, my goodness. Is that... 
Tattoo. That went quick. Okay. All right, Sierra's got this one out. One, seven, eight. One, seven, eight. Anybody got it? Good job. Oh, hold on here. What's this? Yeah, I don't think she didn't, she didn't know what was in there. It was buried. Oh, what would you like? We've got a t-shirt. There you go. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Dig. Dig way down in there. Okay, what is it? What number? 085. Is there a 085? Mike? That's a lot of tickets. Holy smokes. There, what do you want? T-shirt or pie? What size? What size do you wear? All right, you want it? Get out your dollar bills, make it rain. <laughs> Black shirt, all right. My pants either. No, I keep in my pants. This is kind of 126. 126. Anybody? 126. 126. I got one other thing. I got one other choice. Oh, he brought his old wardrobe with him. Video. Oh, <laughs> I got a retro 217 skate shop. You want that one? It's a uh, it's XL though. So you get this or you can get a song shirt. You want one? There you go, man. That's one of the original ones. Okay. I don't know why you guys would want to do that to me. 96, right? 96. 96, anybody? What's the What do you want? What's the chance mean? How far away? One foot away. What did I do to you?